Hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. Hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> thank you for clicking on this video. Jokes apart. Thank you for clicking on the video and happy Sunday. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. If this is your first time here, thank you. I am very grateful. If you've been watching my videos well, you know me very well. Ah, do I have to introduce myself? No. Um, I just want to talk about the way people just assume things without asking questions. They just somebody sees you for the first time. At that moment, they they just build up their their opinion about you. You see, without getting to know you better. They just build up opinion, maybe from your appearance, the way you dress or whatever. They just assume that you are uh, uh, such and such and such kind of person, you see. The best thing is to get to know somebody. And if you want to ask questions, do. Feel free to do that. You don't just judge somebody by just seeing, looking at that person the first time. Or you judge somebody from what someone else said to you. People say things. People can just forge anything, you see, to discredit somebody else. It's what they do, and they are very good at doing it. When somebody cooks up stories about one human being, you wouldn't want to see that person anymore. You wouldn't even want to talk to that person. I don't judge people from what someone else says. I don't do that. I get to know the person and when the person does the same to me or when I see that that person is that kind of person that they describe, then I will find a way of kind of talking to the person and if I feel like I don't want to talk to the person, at the end of the day, it's their life. It's their life. So if I don't want to, hello, how are you? It's not a problem. And that's the way I'll be dealing with that person once in a while hello how are you but i don't judge people from what is said to me i don't judge people from the first time i meet the person i do not assume one type of assumption that i do that is wrong and i've corrected it i realized it like a week ago and i've kind of made amends it's not going to happen again the only assumption I make is like uh, somebody that is talking to you, you chat all the time and all of a sudden um, that person doesn't chat with you anymore. You call and the person doesn't pick the phone. I just assume that that person has moved on from me. That's what I do. You see, I just assume and it has to do with communication. My own assumption, it has to do with communication. But I've come to realize that everybody has one issue or the other going on with them. Everybody is busy. Sometimes people don't have the time to call you. Sometimes people will not have the time to even, <clears throat> excuse me, to, uh, to find out what's going on with you. You don't have to hold it against them. So I realized the mistake I've been making when it comes to communication. I just assume that something is wrong that's why this person is not talking to me and i've stopped it you see but the main thing is i don't judge anybody from their appearance the way they look the way they talk i don't judge anybody from what somebody else says because i for, for as long as i've lived on this earth for as long as i've grown to know myself from the very year or month that I got to know myself, that is away from my childhood. You know, when you are children, it's, it's a different ball game. But when you grow up as an adult, you, you see, you become an adult, then you get to know yourself very well. From then, I have known, I know, I still know that people cook up stories to discredit somebody else. People cook up stories to tarnish somebody's image just because they don't like that person. Just because they, they cannot live the life that person is living. They want the person's life. If somebody is telling lies about somebody, that person wants to fit into the person's shoes and she can't and he can't. So the only way they go about it 
is to tell stories about the person. I know that. So I don't judge anybody from stories. I do not judge anybody from anything. No matter what somebody says to me about someone else. I want to see myself. I want that person to show me the type of person he or she is before I make up my mind. That is me. And that's the way it's supposed to be. You see, um, to me, what I always say is um, fake stories. Fake stories are cooked up by idiots. Spread by fools. And accepted by the greatest idiots on earth. That is the way it is. Why can't we just stop all this? You see? Why can't we just stop it? Stop all these things and love one another. Because each and every one of us is made. It's made in the image of God. It's in the Bible. Go to Genesis leave the matter of adam and if yes is there but it's still there where it is said that we all are made in god's image and god made us all equal god did not bring adam and say you are master over eve because that's what people preach because mostly men because they want that to suit them they twist what god says to suit them. We all are equal. In the sight of God. When God looks at you. God sees himself. When God looks at me. God sees himself. When you understand that. You will stop. All this judgment. You will stop. All the gossip. You will stop all the assumptions. You see. When you see somebody and you want to know about that person, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to ask questions instead of assuming, oh, she's one of those. Oh, she he's one of... No, don't do that. You see? Don't do that. And if you are like me, when it comes to communications, communication, whichever it is, if you are like me, that when you don't hear from somebody, you just assume that that person doesn't want to have anything to do with you. You see, you need to stop. You need to stop. I realize it because after assuming, after some days, the person calls me and I'm like, oh, I was wrong. You see, so I stopped doing that. When I don't hear from someone, I call them to find out if everything is okay. If the person doesn't respond to my call, I wait. I wait till that person wants to talk to me. Because maybe that person is going through a lot of things and that person doesn't want to have any discussion with me. You see? So I have learned that and that's the way I'm living my life. I don't assume anymore. Because when you assume, you are going through, um, was it a, 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 a road full of brick? A road full of brick. So if you are like me, change it. And if you... Uh, th that kind of person that judge somebody from appearance, from the way the person talks, from what the person says, you need to stop. You need to kind of get to know the person. Get to know the person well. You see, if that person wants to talk to you about himself or herself, that person will talk to you. You see, that person will talk to you. The way I find out whether um, somebody let's say i just met somebody and they're asking me questions and um i have other friends in common with that person the way i find out whether that person is truly interested in knowing me in getting to know me you see is by giving that person i mean i kind of mislead the person guilty of that yes i do i mislead the person you see I feel I feed the person with cooked up stories. That's what I do. And when I feed that person with cooked up stories, well, if that person is 
like a gossip or somebody that is judgmental, I will know because all the other people or most of the people we have in common or one or two of the people we have in common will surely call me to say, oh, uh, Miss B said A, A, A to Z, you see. So that person will go on and spread the cooked up stories that I told the person. And that's how I know whether you are truly interested in getting to know me or not. You see, that's how I get to know. At this moment, there's this kind of group. Let me just say group that I just belong to. And there's one of them who is... When you see somebody who is always a... I don't know how to describe it. That person is like that. And I fed that person with cooked up stories. I'm just waiting for the cooked up stories to spread. And believe it or not, if that cooked up stories spread... I am going to leave the group. Then I will know that I am not supposed to be in that group. You see, I'm not supposed to be in that group. When you are around people, they should accept you the way they see you. And if they show, if they are interested in getting to know you better, then whatever you say should remain between you and that person. You see? That's why I cooked up these stories and gave to this woman. And I'm sure she's busy spreading it around. I'm sure she's busy. So I'm not saying that you should do that. But that is how I know whether somebody really likes me or the person is looking for stories to spread around. You see? That's it. So assuming that somebody is this or that is wrong. It is wrong and that's what people do a lot of people do it you see they see you for the first time and they're like hmm hmm and you are looking at them like what is wrong with this person what is going on with this person you see <laughs> oh god almighty have mercy anyway it's still god that created all of us but God who created you did not make you that way. God created you in his image and you are supposed to have unconditional love for everybody just the way God loves you too. Because God loves all of us unconditionally. That is why God Almighty does not take our sins against us. God does not. God just waits for you to say, Father, I am sorry. And that minute, God washes everything away, you see. So we should not judge. We should not assume what somebody is not. Do not do that. And we should not assume that somebody is bad, somebody is wayward, somebody is stupid, somebody is whatever from what somebody else says. You see, we shouldn't judge people by that. That's what I'm trying to say. When somebody tells you something, something about somebody, get to know that person. Watch and see if that person is really the way that person described. Because believe it or not, and most of you who, who have kind of, know, most of you have known this from, for a long time, that people say things that are not right. People can cook up any story, you see. People can cook up any story. Just like I cooked up that story about myself and gave that woman. Because I just want to see whether she's coming to me to be a true friend or she's just coming to me to pick uh, things to go and tell others, you see. Don't judge people from what somebody else says. Get to know the person. Ask the person questions. If that person wants you to know everything about him or her, that person will tell you. You see, and friendship is like, it's just when you meet somebody for the first time, you take baby steps. You don't just meet somebody today and you start asking the person personal questions. You see, that's why I doubt that that woman wants to be my friend. Because the first day I met her, she's asking me all these personal questions. 
So I decided to give her something to feed others. You see, that's what I did. So do not judge people. Take baby steps. When you meet somebody for the first time, just enjoy the company. Wait for that person to tell you about himself or herself. Don't be too forward to know everything. You see? Because when you are like that, that means you are not, you don't want to be friends with that person. You want to know the person's background, the way the person lives, what everything about the person. That's what you want to know. And it's wrong. It's wrong. I know most people do it because they think, oh, they are high class. They don't want to move around with somebody who doesn't have anything. They don't want to do this. They don't want to do that. You see? That is why some people do it. But it's wrong. You see, like that person who was asking me all these questions, I know why she's trying to do it. She wants to know my level, my class. That's what she wants to know. You see? But it's wrong. Get to know somebody for who they really are, not what they are. Not what they are. People have love to share. There are people who don't have anything, but they have love in their heart to share. You see, they are nice people. For the fact that they don't have uh, uh, anything, they are not uh, financially buoyant or whatever, they are not rich, you see, doesn't mean that they cannot be good friends. It's those people who are not even rich that have good heart. You see, they are the ones with good heart. And for me, to be, for you to be my friend, you must be somebody that has a good heart. You must be somebody that knows God Almighty. You must be somebody that has compassion. You must be somebody that has empathy. You must be somebody that is willing to help others. You must be somebody that is ready to put, put a smile on somebody's face. That's the kind of friend I want. I don't want a friend that will sit down and gossip about other people. I don't want a friend that will just go out to show off. That's not the kind of friend I want. Because I am not that kind of friend. I am not that kind of person. You see. What is so important to me is what I can do for God Almighty. And the only way you can do it is through others, through people around you. Because God Almighty does not want anything from you. God Almighty doesn't want anything from you. You can get to God's heart by helping someone else. You can get to God's heart by doing things to make somebody happy. You see, that's all God wants from you. You see, that is it. So I hope this, my video, will kind of change your mindset about other people. I hope it will change your mindset about uh, uh, assuming that you know what somebody really is when you don't know. You see, I hope this, my video, will change your mindset. And you will start looking at others as God's, as God's creatures, God's how do I put it? God's, um, do I say representatives? Yeah, I can say that because God lives in all of us. If you start having love for others, if you start having compassion for others, if you start having empathy for others, sorry, my battery, my battery. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, God Almighty does not want anything from you. You see, what God wants is that you have compassion for others. You have empathy for others. You help others. You put a smile on somebody else's face. Just love one another. That is all God wants from us. And that's it. Let's all kind of have that mindset, that mentality. And the world will be a better place to live in. You see, the world will be a better place to live in if we have love for one another, if we stop judging one another, if we stop assuming that we know something about somebody when we don't really know. 
we don't know anything about that, about that person, they would start judging the person or we listen to gossips because there are people who are professional gossips. They are really, really good in cooking up stories. So don't be one of them. Love one another. When somebody does something you don't like, extend God's unconditional love to that person. You can tell the person, oh, I don't like what you did. Whether they apologize or not, don't let it bother you. Extend God's unconditional love to the person. And that is it. That is the best way to live your life. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video. May God Almighty meet you all at your point of